I wanna leave you one more, yeah. I wanna be your new favorite. Watch you walk out of the door. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That is definitely not the original lyrics. One thing about me, I'm gonna make up some lyrics. If I don't know what you're saying, or if I forget the lyrics, I'm about to make up some lyrics on the spot. And did. <laughs> Guys, I literally have been singing that song the whole day. I feel like it's so criminally underrated. If you know, then you know. Anyway, speaking of things that I don't know, this story. I've been seeing this guy, uh, I've been seeing his face literally everywhere on social media. I'm like, what's going on? What's tea? So I wanted to go ahead and do some research and do some digging and share with you guys this story. Now this video is given very much true crime and babes, if I'm being honest, I did not sign up for that. True, true crime and like these kind of things scare me and I know that like... We can't live in like Delulu land. Like obviously these kind of things and crimes are happening, but like I'd rather live in Delulu land and just think everything's a fairy tale. I'd rather that. Also, it's just me who feels like life isn't life thing. Like I want to go back to when I was 16. Actually, no, I don't because I hated the bitches around me. I want to go back to when I was like 14.5, 15. <laughs> I want to be younger is what I'm trying to say. Being 24 years of age is cutesy and fun, but like I miss 2014 when I met you in the sun. Ah! La, la, la. no seriously though all right i'm tired of this bs i'm tired of waking up and just like obviously crime has been around for decades and decades and centuries a long time but what i'm trying to say is like i i didn't know that i feel like i was oblivious to these things because i was literally a child playing with sandcastles and pissing off people in it. like i want to go back to those days but now i just feel like everything's just hitting me like even if i try to not listen to the news I don't want to be ignorant for that long but then again I do get like pop-ups and headlines on my phone whether I like it or not and there's just too much going on is what I'm trying to say I probably should have mentioned that instead of going on a tangent it's not really a tangent though is it I mean yeah yeah there's a lot going on I'm praying for the world we are the world we are the children we are the ones to make a better day so let's start let me stop it but seriously though I'm praying for the world and Jesus like oh my god I just I don't want to live in fear but you kind of have to. Like, I'm always watching over my shoulders. I'm always trying to see, like, where I'm at, though. Like, I don't know. I don't want to be, like, overly cautious and not have fun anymore. But that's kind of what it's been. And also, there was, like, an acid attack here in London, like, two days ago to a 14-year-old. And no one should be ha- Where do you even get acid from? What the flip? I know that this TikToker goes by the name Mr. Prada, who is a TikTok fugitive. Never, ever did I think I'd be making a video about a TikToker who is allegedly unalive somebody link down the article down below for you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe it literally costs you nothing and takes what babes about two seconds what are you waiting for or <laughs> the tiktok star arrested in texas after therapist body was found murdered and wrapped in a tarp 400 miles away mr prada real name terry on ishmael Thomas was wanted on multiple charges following the death of 69 year old William Nicholas Abraham. A TikTok star known to his followers as Mr. Prada has been arrested in Texas following the gruesome murder of a therapist 400 miles away in Louisiana. Terion Ishmael Thomas was wanted on charges of aggravated criminal damage to property, resisting an officer, and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle following the death of William Nicholas Abraham, age 69. The 20 year old, who has an online following of 8.2 million people, was reportedly caught driving along in the victim's vehicle. Oh, oh no. A black Lincoln MKZ in Dallas. Days after Abraham's body was found, he was arrested after initially refusing to pull over. Thomas allegedly backed the car into the police unit before speeding away for a traffic light, crashing the car and getting away from the police, according to the arrest warrant. The parish sheriff's officer released surveillance footage stills of Thomas prior to his arrest after labeling him a person of interest. Yikes. He was booked into Dallas County Jail on Monday evening online record show. Abraham's body was discovered on Sunday morning at the side of a highway between the unincorporated... What? My English is not English in, babes. It's way too... What's the time? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's 10.49, babes. My English is not English in right now. So excuse my lack of vocabulary. It's just too early in the morning. That's all I've got for you. <laughs> Community of Fluka and the village of Tangapo... Tangap what are these states? What are these places? What are these neighbourhoods, bro? All I know is flipping London. According to the sheriff's office, his body was rolled up in a piece of tarp and found partially hidden along the road, about 60 miles in northeast of Baton Rouge, where detectives said that Abraham worked. He had been violently beaten to death and had bruises, sorry, and had bruises all over his head and neck, the police said. The parish coroner's office later confirmed that the preliminary, preliminary cause of death was homicide and the manner of death was blunt force trauma. 
Aye, aye, aye. A motive in the killing has yet to be provided by the police, and it is not immediately known whether the victim and Thomas knew each other. According to a biography on his webpage, Abraham was a life coach licensed professional counsellor, motivational speaker and author. Abraham's family told WBRZ he left home Saturday to clean his car and then said he was going to his office to do some paperwork. He told his roommate it would take a few hours but he never returned home. Let's go ahead and get on into the family reaction. So before Abraham started working as a therapist, he served as a Catholic priest for 14 years in Baton Rouge. On his personal website, he described himself as a life coach, motivational speaker, author and teacher. The therapist regularly appeared on segments for a local news station to provide advice on dealing with mental health issues. Abraham was arrested and accused of inappropriately touching an 11 year old boy during a session in 2015. But the charges were later dropped. There are many theories that the therapist had touched Mr. Prada at the time. I don't know whether that's true or not. There's been other sites that have debunked that and said that's not true, hence why the case was shut down. But I mean, in this world, anything is possible. And just because a case was shut down doesn't mean that it was not actually true. Um, but then again, these are just like theories that people on Twitter specifically have come up with. But then people on Twitter will also use the word allegedly in fact in the same sentence. So take from that what you will. I think as a case of just, you know, waiting and seeing what happens. But check out this TikTok that didn't really age well. Practicing for my mugshot because this might be the year someone going to meet God if they piss me off too much. Whether it was make believe, whether it was hypothetically speaking or not. It didn't age well considering he has a mugshot and is behind bars. Sheriff Sticker said that they are aware of the prior arrest. Abraham was one of eight children and his heartbroken siblings have paid tribute following his tragic death, remembering him as someone who always wanted to help others. This is honestly such a sad story. Such a sad story. So Joseph Abraham told WWL TV, he made a mark on people's lives and helped them be better people. We're all blinded by it, but we will get the answers. Abraham was described by his friend Jarrett as not the kind of man that had something like this that sorry what not the kind of man that something like this would have happened to i could have literally just read the article but i chose to look away have i mentioned that i'm weird and um, he told cbs affiliate wafb i'm absolutely devastated and completely surprised that something like this could have happened to a man who i believe to be so tender and so gentle abraham's brother tommy said no one should take a life but god no one he's the only one that can take a life and for someone to take someone else's life you're a coward officials are urging anyone with information about the crime to come forward they believe the therapist was killed on the night of saturday september the 28th 2024 cops would like to know what he was doing in the hours before before he was killed investigators searched his home but found no sign of a struggle wow it's just sad and I, my heart goes out to you know the victim and like his, his friends and family and everything and you know receiving the bad news via text or phone call or going to someone's house and knocking the door and telling them that information like you can never prepare for it yeah i don't know there's just too much going on in the world that just i'm sorry but like i just feel like i should live in fear i know i shouldn't but babes i just i do i do to be completely honest with you and i don't know this story is like it's crazy because like i know that when it comes to police officers and black men like is a conversation which is a hard one to have and we've seen so many situations where you can even cooperate with what the police are saying but then you could still be unalived you know in the next second um but yeah he didn't want to listen to the police officer he didn't want to stop his vehicle um the fact that you were driving the vehicle that didn't belong to you that's a little bit of a sticky one that's not looking too good he basically backed up his car that he was driving right and then it hit the police officer's car and then like he sped past traffic like that isn't a good look and that does make you look suspicious um but we will see how things unfold. Um, a lot of people are shocked because, oh my God, he's a TikToker. We never thought it could be him. I need you guys to start understanding and come to realization that it can be anyone. Anybody's capable of anything. Just remember, this is not a true crime, a true crime channel. I'm still a crybaby and I'm a scaredy cat. So there's that. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Comment down below what you guys think about this whole situation. Is there anything that I missed out on? Is there more about Mr. Prada that I'm not aware of? All I know is that it's not looking too good for him. Anyways, guys, enough of me. I'll see you guys when I next see you, which will be probably the next couple of days or maybe tomorrow because I've really been on my consistent grind, which I hope you guys have been appreciating. If you have, smash the like button. It really does help me out a lot. Make sure you guys subscribe. And once again, go follow me over on my Instagram. It's Keisha underscore. It's a fun time over on there. If you guys have any video suggestions or if you guys just simply want to connect with me, then that is the best place to do so but yes guys i've been your hostess keisha and i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye